you know, I'm a historian and a slow journalist. Um, and so I don't always know, but I have some ideas. The first thing I think we need to do, and people hate it when I say it, is that we need to reassert the power of the state as, represent, as represented, representing the people. Corporations claim to represent us, they fail. Other groups try to persuade us that we can represent ourselves and that new technologies allow us to do that powerfully. Nothing could be further from the truth. In a corporate world devoted to profiting from individuation of experience, solicitation of expressiveness, persistent individual expression will not solve our political problems. We need to turn back to the state. Whether it's better to break up large tech firms or to regulate them, I don't know, but we need to regulate in some way. In England right now, there is a big debate about um, keeping the regulations that make the BBC possible. And Boris Johnson would like to do away with those and create an open marketplace for, for, for media. And the people who are against him are saying, look, if you do that, you will get the United States. And he's right. We deregulated our media marketplace in the 1980s, and we have ended up in a world of incredible polarization and conflict in which already existing social troubles were amplified, in which gasoline was poured on the fire. So we need to reinvigorate the power of the state. We need to have the state support ordinary folks. And uh, I think that's what we've got to do. Now, I also think we need to continue to have, obviously, NGOs, nonprofits, the civic sector but we need to reinvigorate civic structures. So the other theme I would hammer home if I could is that what makes democracy is not voice. This is one of those myths that hovers all through America. The, it, the, the power of the individual voice is not the essence of democracy. The essence of democracy is the power to represent individual voices collectively. The power of the democracy of democracy is not direct democracy. It's not the ability to speak. It's the ability to represent different issues and negotiate among them without harming any of them, if you can help it. Democracy is a representative, not a, not a direct process. And as a representative process, it needs institutions so we need to sustain those institutions, those civic institutions, and not let companies like Facebook and Google become, by default, our civic governing forces.